So my video today is a di little different than what I've been doing, but I thought that since right now the gas prices are going out of control and everybody's worried about how they're paying for gas, or maybe they haven't worried about it yet, I thought I'd come up with a list of some ways that you can save. Now, the first way is actually a joke. Um, you can move out to the country, and when it rains, you can get flooded in. Then you can't go, and you won't be using gas. No, that's not one of my 10, but I wanted to give you a little view here of what we're dealing with today. Just happened to be a coincidence I was going to talk about gas prices, so there you go. Um, I won't be spending any money on gas today. I won't be mowing and I won't be driving anywhere. All right, let's get started. I've got a few reasons, uh, some different ways that you can save or at least try to figure all this out and help your budget. I know a lot of people are getting on YouTube looking for ways to make extra money, and I thought this was something that affects all of us, our um, increase in gas prices. And this is, if you follow some of these little tips, it'll help you save some money. Is it going to make you rich? No, but it is going to help. I know this has affected everybody that's driving. I know myself, I have to tell you a story back. I started driving in the 70s, and back then, <laughs> gas was 75 cents a gallon. And I remember my my dad, anybody in his age, you know, older people, they were just appalled when prices went over a dollar a gallon. So here we are probably pushing $10 a gallon eventually, and it's just unheard of. So try some of these things. Hopefully something here will help um, ease the pain of these gas prices. Maybe some things you haven't thought about because you've been so stressed. Here's a chart that I put up, you know, just to give you an idea of just in May where some of the gas prices have gone in California. They're already at six. New York is pushing five. And you've seen some of my video here. These are prices in my own area in Ohio. We haven't hit five yet, but we've been kind of running between, you know, 450 to 480. So let me go ahead and give you 10 different ways, um, simple ways that, that can help relieve the pain. Number one is use a gas price find finder app. And these different apps, you can go in there and they'll tell you where gas is cheaper in your area and it'll bring actually bring up the different gas stations. Especially if you're in an urban area, a lot of these things will help you. I know if you're in the country, things are a little bit different, um, but pick and choose the ones that will work. But there's Gas Gr Guru, MapQuest, and Gas Buddy. So go ahead and try those apps and see if that helps. Two, pay in cash. There are a lot of gas stations. You've noticed if you go up there, um, you see on the sign, if you pay in cash, you save 10 cents a gallon. That'll add up a lot over time. Um, you know, before when gases were lower, you thought, oh, I'm not going to mess with it. No big deal. Well, now it does make a difference, uh, especially over the course of a few months. Credit cards. If you're, most of us are using credit cards, but do you have a credit card with maximum rewards? I know myself, we use Discover and we get a kickback. Sometimes they'll even say during these three months over the summer, we'll give you an extra kickback um, for restaurants and gas stations. And I'm sure a lot of them will add gas stations because of what's going on. And here you see a list I'm scrolling of 10 cards that are considered the top 10 rewards cards for 2022. Just Google it and you can find different cards that are available and just pick one. Um, four, you can buy discounted gas gift cards. Different sites that you can go to are Gift Card Granny, Card Cash, and Gift Card Place. And they all have discounted uh, cards. Now, here's the a neat way to double up your money, your savings. Use your charge card that has a kickback to buy these gift cards. And so that way you're kind of getting like a double kickback. Anytime you can use that uh, charge card that has the kickback when you're when you're making purchases like this, you can go to uh, gas stations that have reward programs. Kroger, Speedway, again, when we use our rewards for Kroger, we use our Discover card, we're getting that double kickback. And it's not uncommon for us to always get a dollar extra off of our gas. Now, you can only buy up to 35 gallons, but we literally get gas cans, put them in the back of the Jeep. And get all 35 gallons. Um, I, I didn't always do that, but right now I'm I'm trying to get every little uh, piece of help that I can get. Now this is this is one that some of you are going to go, what? Don't speed. Did you know that if you drive at a steady pace and you don't keep revving up your engine and going back and forth and changing the velocity, you know, the gas, the speed of your car, you're going to save money. So don't speed. Use your cruise control if you have it, even if you're on the highway. That's why a lot of times you get better gas mileage on the highway because you're you're driving at a consistent speed. You're not stopping and going, stopping and going. So definitely think about that. Be conscious of it. If you have cruise control, use it. Number seven, don't get lost. What? Okay, that's one out here in the country. Just the other day I was going somewhere. I missed the GPS. 
um, I was supposed to take a left-hand turn and you know how that goes. Sometimes they tell you right when you're on top of it. I passed it and it rerouted. It said, take a right turn. I was going to go five miles to go all the way around and come back to where I was. So obviously I backed up and turned around, found somebody's driveway, but use your GPS so that you don't get lost. And if you do something like that, hurry up and reroute yourself. That will save you gas. You're not wasting it driving around. Number eight, buy gas early in the week. Go back to those apps that I mentioned in the beginning. They will also, especially a gas buddy, will you put your state and your town in and it will even give you information on when is the best time to buy gas. Number nine, use warehouse clubs. If you live near a Costco or Sam's, they, oh gosh, I was in Florida just a couple of weeks ago at my son's and we went to get gas at Costco and it was like 30 cents less on the gallon. But last but not least, and this one might feel like a no brainer, but you know, think outside the box. Can you carpool with other people to get to work or even to go shopping? Can you walk instead of driving? Can you ride a bike? Um, I know I maybe I could someday. I was laughing. We live in Amish in the Amish area, and I was saying before we know it, they're going to be coming to us, and we're going to be you know hiring them to take us to the store. It's going to all flip. <laughs> right now, we they hire us, but if these gas prices continue, we're going to be hiring them. But think outside the box. Um, how can I? you know, start riding with other people and combining our, our trips so that we're not spending so much in gas. And if you have elderly people that, you know, live near you, you know, go reach out to them and say, hey, can I pick something up for you? Not only is it hard for them to drive, but it, it, the gas is really going to affect people that are on a limited budget. Did any of those resonate with you? Is there anything there that you think you can do that it's going to help you, especially if you're in the urban areas? Definitely carpool. Definitely ride a bike if you could. I told my husband, I'm, I'm ready to get a horse and buggy, to be honest, or a bicycle. Um, it's still 60 miles to the store, but... It might come to that, right? All right, you have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know below in the comments um, what else you'd like to hear about or learn about um, to build your business, make some money online, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. You have a blessed day.